You never know what they might do over drugs. Erica Sagonia lives in an area of Denham Springs that she says has a huge drug problem. What the problem is, y'all got a child in the house, and this stuff is right out in the open where the child has access to it. And with the arrest of David Chenin and Phyllis Henson only a few houses down, Zagonia says until now, she rarely felt safe. That they're, I mean, they patrol in here a lot more, and I think they're going to other neighborhoods too and uh, patrolling in there and checking things out, so it makes it a lot safer for the kids and for the adults. And in many cases, Livingston Sheriff's Office sees children neglected in homes that have illegal drugs. Smoke around the child and and, and the child. Blah, 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 blah. come on, dude. Look, we don't. don't. Have to My baby has asthma. We smoke outside. Outside, outside. Smoke. Yeah. What would you do with the child? You just sleep, right? Just like y'all was. He wakes up, comes in here, turns on the TV, and takes a bite of that or puts it in the mouth. Explain that. And the people being arrested for prescriptions, like in this case, have been found with other illegal drugs. See how much we reaching, hon? you under arrest. For what? Possession of marijuana. Sigonia says she's happy to see a stronger law enforcement presence in her community because she worries for the safety of not only her son, but her sister. Well, I have a 14-year-old sister that lives here, so I worry about what she might get into and what she might do.